I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel, welcome. If you are new here, my name is Freya. I upload two videos every single week and today's video is going to be one of my favorite ones to film and one of your favorites to watch. And it is of course a Zara haul, in particular Zara home. So if you are into the homeware side of things and you really, really like interiors like I do, then I do have my Instagram account, Freya Farrington Home. I do also have my fashion one, Freya Farrington One, so I'll leave both linked below if you wanna follow me over on either of those for daily updates, then please do so. And if you are new to this channel, then I would love it if you would stick around and subscribe and stay tuned for more Zara hauls in the future. So let's just get started with the Zara home bits first before I move on to the fashion. <sighs> the box is so big, I literally can't even lift it. It is humongous. Biggest ever Zara box that I've ever received. Okay, the reason why I have such a big box of Zara home bits is because I ordered a brand new duvet and some pillows as well. The reason why I wanted to get this is because we have in our bedroom a king size bed, but the duvet is also king size. And a little tip from my boyfriend's mum, she always recommends sizing up on the duvet, which I get because with Tom being six foot five and a duvet hogger, it means that I'm left with hardly any. And then like if a little toe pokes out in the middle of the night, I'm like, ah, the monsters are gonna get me. So I've been wanting to get a super king size duvet for a long, long while now so I finally did it I went on to Zara home and they had this one at I think it was about 89 pounds so it comes in this lovely little bag which is great for storing bedding in so now that I have my big super king duvet I am on the hunt for more bedding because obviously our king size duvets won't fit the super king I did also pick up two new pillows for us now these come compact in this little like drawstring bag and I went for the six, no, sorry, 50 by 75 centimeters, which I believe is just like a standard um, size for a king size bed. The only thing is it looks quite compact in this and the pillows that we currently have are quite flat. So I find myself getting neck ache in the morning. So I was hoping these would be a bit fluffy. I'm gonna plump them up and see how I like them. I just really want that like hotel feeling bedding. You know when you get into a hotel and the pillows are like that big and your face just sinks right into it. That's what I'm after. These pillows were $39.99 each so they're not cheap. I really want good quality pillows so I will be strict on these and if I feel like they're not plump enough I will send these back because they do look quite small having been rolled up in this. So we'll see how I go with them. Okay moving on now. What's in here? Ooh. Okay, yeah, remember this one now. Oh, so excited. If you're a Mrs. Hinch lover, you'll love this one uh, because it is a cleaning product. Yes, Zara Home now do cleaning products. This is a multi-surface cleaner. It's in golden grass, which is bergamot, ginger, and lemon. Let's give this a smell. Oh my God, that smells amazing. <gasps> It comes in a really nice glass bottle. I love the like minimal design as well. This is one that I could definitely like refill and just keep forever. You know, once this runs out, top it up with some Zaflora. But that smells beautiful. This was $7.99, which for a cleaning product is definitely top end, but it smells like a fragrance that I would wear all over my body. And obviously you've got a nice glass bottle to keep forever as well. Okay, next up are these. I'm just gonna unwrap these carefully because they are the same thing. And they are wine glasses. So we have been having a little more to drink than what we usually would. I mean, I'm not a big drinker anyway, but when we do our virtual pub quizzes on Saturdays and Sundays, then we usually have a little splash of red, but we've been drinking it out of gin balloon glasses because that's the only thing we own. So I wanted to get these. I loved the shape of these so, so much. They kind of match our champagne flutes, like they're the similar kind of shape. So these glasses were for 99 each, so you can obviously pick up as many as you want as opposed to relying on a set of a certain size. So I just picked up the two for now because we have limited space in our kitchen. It's only a small kitchen with limited storage. So for now, with it just being the two of us predominantly in this household, we have two wine glasses. 
Cheers. Okay, the last homeware item I have is probably the one I'm most excited for. I don't know why, just the aesthetic of this and what it is just really excites me. So it is a recipe book. Now it's kind of pricey this. It is $17.99 for a recipe book that you fill in yourself. But it's a novelty. I had a look online to see if I could see any similar that looked the same that were at a cheaper price and I couldn't find any. So this is, I'm seeing it as a an investment that would be quite nice, not as a coffee table book per se because it's a recipe book, but having it out kind of on display, I'm imagining a future home with a kitchen island and one of those cast iron recipe book stands. And then I could have this sat on it. So from home to home, a collection of guarded recipes. I have asked Tom's mum for some of her good old family recipes. Um, I also have a couple passed down from my family, which I'm gonna add in here. And then just along the way, as and when I bake or cook something that I really like, I'm gonna add it to this recipe book and just keep it forever. So um, they have like a demo card in here, which is kind of like, a um, example of what how you can fill it in. You can do little doodles and drawings. So I am actually just gonna be a little sneaky sneaky and show you a bit of a preview for this book so that if you did wanna create your own, like in a bullet journal, then you can. I just love the look of this one anyway, so happy to pay 17 99 But let me show you a couple of pages. So the first page is the secret ingredient author. You obviously put your name. And then we have some kitchen cupboard essentials, like a nice little shopping list there. Um, some conversion charts, which I just think is so useful. This I love, this sort of different pasta page. Look at this, this is a spaghetti portion size. So if you held up spaghetti, then the circle of one would just be a portion size for one person, love that. And then we've got a herbs list page there. We've got a little recipe ideas with a little uh, cutaway that you can pop in any recipe ideas in there. And then it's divided into appetizers. And then here we have soups and salads main dishes and then just to give you an idea as to what each one looks like you have recipe name date preparation time servings ingredients instructions a photo of what the dish looks like and then tips and then we also have a breads section and then lastly a desserts section i'm imagining this section is going to fill up pretty quickly <laughs> Oh, nearly fell off my chair. So that is everything that I picked up from Zara Home. Now onto the fashion, which is still a fairly weighty box. It's not as big as the Zara Home one, but it's heavy. As always, Zara packaging, can't commend them enough with the minimal plastics. The first two items that are just sat on the top are actually for Tom, these two. Um, I've got them in an XL and an L for him to try out and see which one he prefers, which fit he prefers. It's um, obviously from the menswear in a relaxed fit and it's this kind of shirt jacket. It's actually quite a bit thicker than I thought it was gonna be. They also had a really nice salmon-y, pinky red kind of color, which I think he would love. So I'll see what he says. If he likes them, they're only 15 99 each and you know, they're really good quality. So yeah, hopefully he likes them. I did also pick up a set from the menswear, but for me, so we'll see how I go with these because of, Obviously men's fit is slightly different to women's, but it's a pair of these joggers and like a matching sweat in this really nice like towel kind of fabric. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a waffle towel kind of fabric. I love the texture of this so much. So I'm really hoping that I can make this work. I picked up the joggers in a large. I really don't know what size I'd be in men's. Uh, but obviously I knew it had a drawstring so you can cinch these right in. And the bottom is like cuffed, it's like a slim fit. And then in the top I also went for a large. It's quite thin actually, it'd be quite nice for like spring, I guess this time of the year, for like around the house lounging to wear something comfortable. Again, love this towel fabric. I imagine getting this set on after I've had a nice 
hot bath or shower and hair wash kind of night and I just want to put on a cozy matching loungewear set. So the best part about this set here is that it was half price. So originally these were $19.99 each. So I did pick this up for $9.99, $9.99. So hopefully I'm going to really like this and it'll fit because if it does, I've grabbed myself a bargain there. Okay, a smock style dress is something that I live in at this time of the year. I just find them so comfortable. And I saw this one in black. Now I only have them in white currently. But when I saw this, I put it straight in my basket. It was originally $29.99, but it was in the sale for £15. And I picked it up in a medium. Nice and floaty and relaxed and comfortable. The perfect kind of dress for this time of the year. Honestly, I live in these. It's only taken me forever to jump on the trend of this Zara bodysuit. But I saw a dupe in Primark and I wanted to kind of save myself to try that. And when I tried it on, it was pants. The quality of it was far too thin and this is double layered. So I wanted to stick with the Zara one. So I finally picked it up. I just went for the black for now. They obviously have it, I'm sure you guys know, they have it in white and nude as well. And it's a really flattering cut on the like arms and neck. So if I like this one, I might treat myself to the white and nude as well. $12.99 these are, which is an average price point, I would say, for a good quality basic that you can wear time and time again. I've noticed a lot on Instagram people wearing this set as like loungewear around the house, and I thought I would try it out for myself. It's like a little knit cord with a pair of shorts, little short shorts like so and a little crop top and to be honest with you this is a different color to how i imagined it would be i thought it would be far more of a camel nude kind of color but it's actually kind of like a sage khaki almost so i'm going to try this and see what i think i mean these are short shorts so this is definitely just around the house kind of outfit slash PJs like nice PJs. The top is $12.99 and the shorts are $17.99. Not the cheapest. Yeah, online it says they're ecru, which is usually a colour I really like. So we'll see. We'll see what I think once I've tried these on. Okay, next up I got some denim shorts. These were $19.99. Good price point for a good staple pair of denim shorts. And I do already have some denim shorts in a light wash blue denim. So I wanted to get a black Hair. Call me crazy, but I've sized up twice in these because I've seen people feature these in their hauls on YouTube and they've sized up and they're still snug. So I thought I would go crazy and size up from a 10 to a 14. These feel tight. There is absolutely no give in these denim shorts. So I know I'll get them on with the waist being quite big. They might just be a bit too big around the waist, but if I were to size down too snug on the legs, we'll see. Okay, I thought totally forgot about this and I thought it would come in the homeware parcel but it didn't it came with the fashion bits so I've just remembered that I ordered this which I'm oh my god I can smell it already it's a gorgeous candle very minimal in my style in the scent Amalfi Sun Ray I was gonna say Sunday then Sun Ray which sounds dreamy it was $15.99 and this is part of a range of scents that they have collaborated with Jo Malone on, which is interesting. I really wish you could just smell this. Smell it, smell it guys. It's honestly so fresh. If I just close my eyes, I'm on the Amalfi Coast with a pizza, an Aperol spritz in hand. Mm, love that. That'd make a cute little birthday gift for someone as well, wouldn't it? I also got a top up for a handbag fragrance, even though we're not really going out and about very much lately. Uh, Zara do the best fragrances for really affordable price point. They dupe designer fragrances, so they never disappoint when it comes to fragrance. This one is originally $9.99, but it was in the sale for $5.99, so I picked it up. It's 100 mils, 100 mils for $5.99. This is in the scent Oriental. Again, these make really cute gifts. And how classic and minimal and understated is that bottle? I love it. Let's give this a little smell. 
Okay, that's quite feminine, more so than I would usually go for, but it's also quite fresh. So I'd only tend to opt for a scent like this in summer. But yeah, that is nice. Okay, the last few bits are accessories. So you may have seen last week I did my spring summer capsule wardrobe and I shared all my favorite essentials to wear um, at this time of the year. And I did talk about sunglasses and mentioned that I was after a black cat eye pair. So I saw these on Zara for $29.99. They are quite like thick and sturdy. I don't know if this is gonna suit my face type. Hmm. I don't know. They feel a bit too clunky and heavy for me. I feel like when it comes to sunglasses, I need quite light because otherwise it like, when it sits on my nose, I find it really uncomfortable. And they also feel quite tight on my head. So I'm already talking myself out of these. So I'm still on the hunt for a new pair of black cat eye glasses. Okay, a pair of shoes now. These were 19.99. I think if I remember rightly, I sized up in these just because of the shape of them. Oh, actually, they do look quite big, though. I'll have to try them on and see what I think. But yeah, oh, originally $29.99, so I think these are in this special price area that they have on their website. So I love that kind of net design. It's very Saint Laurent, I feel, and the little hook over the back is what made me size up because I thought that might be quite snug on my feet. I'll try them, though. I love the look of them. I feel like I should just try it on now. Uh, oh yeah, the back slips off my foot. Yeah, that's going to keep slipping off. I'm going to have to size down to a six in these. Well, at least now you know you can stay true to size with them. Okay, last item I got is actually a bag, which I rarely get on Zara. This was only $15.99. It's called the Mini City. And I just love the look of it. This colour is quite dangerous because obviously it's very light and especially in summer if you're on holiday you've got tan or you've got like oils and stuff like that i hate the idea of taking a nice bag and then ruining it in summer i do always like to get a high street more affordable bag to last me and i love this one right i cannot tell you how excited i am to go and make myself a coffee right now grab a snack get my recipe book out and fill it in with all my family recipes and things that I've been finding that I want to try out. I have restarted my blog as well so if and when I try out a recipe that I'm going to include in that recipe book I'll probably upload it to my blog which is freyofarrington.co.uk. I have the lemon and ginger tonic recipe on that website as well which is originally Lydia Millen's. So that is everything that I picked up on this little online shopping spree with Zara and Zara Home. I did another one not too long ago with a lot of the items still being available on their website so I'll leave that video linked in case you are new to my channel this is the first time you're watching one of my videos and you want to see what else is new in on zara thank you so much for watching this video hope you enjoyed it thumbs up if you did and i hope to see you all in my next one bye guys